Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I get to work with my wife every day, so I am awesome. <laughs> Things are going well. And uh, today is a super special awesome day because it's Thursday, and that means we have Dear John Letters. <laughs> she says that with me most of the time. <laughs> Try it again. Today we have Dear, Dear John, John Letters. Letters. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, also, we've got a quote for today. This one's from Muhammad Ali. He said, if they can make penicillin out of moldy bread, they can surely make something out of you. So I like that. That's a good quote. Think about that. Penicillin out of moldy bread. So sometimes you when you think... You always make me throw away the moldy bread. I do, because we don't make penicillin here. <laughs> so please, in our house, it's trash. Throw it away. <laughs> Some lab somewhere, they could make something out of that. But we don't have that lab. Uh, but just think about that, where something in, in some places, you'd think that it's garbage because it's mold, but for others are going, that's exactly what we need to make penicillin. So there you go. Pretty, pretty bright quote today. Got a lot of fun stuff to get to. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. We're in that special time of year, one of my favorite times when we celebrate with family and friends, but often that celebration involves alcohol, so please have non-alcohol options available. Sadly, too many times that's not an option, and that can lead to drinking and driving, and much worse. If you're having a party, have a plan. And remember, if you or someone you know needs help kicking a drinking problem, there's a toll-free number you can call, 800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Thursday. It is December the 21st. How did that happen? It is Forefathers Day. So this is for all of you who have forefathers. No? it's <laughs> not what it is? Oh, this is like the forefathers Abraham Lincoln talked about. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth a new... To this great nation. Something like... I should know this. <laughs> <laughs> I like history. What's wrong with me? Hey, it's also a, a humbug day today. So for those of you who don't like celebrate nothing, today you can celebrate humbug day. It's also Crossword Puzzle Day, which is one of Heidi's favorite things. I love things. to do crossword puzzles. By the way, i got to say thank you to Eric. Uh, we've got a friend, Eric, that we see quite often, and he brought Heidi a really cool uh, gift, a uh, crossword puzzle book. A book, and I, a crossword I puzzle. I actually was doing some of them last Were you? night. Yeah. I was. Eric, that was awesome. He, he got us uh, both some really neat stuff. But thank you for that. Uh, I knew that Heidi would like that. It is also Look on the Bright Side Day today and National Flashlight Day, and it's winter officially winter solstice so today is the shortest day of the year so we'll try to get through as much as we can we don't have much time thanks for listening to the john and heidi show john and heidi. are you paying a bundle to have the channels you want and even more to have a dvr to watch the shows when you want to watch them channel wants to help we have a few options that could save you 45 percent with dish tv call 1-800-818-3967 see how much you can save by cutting the cable Plus, we can help you watch on your mobile device. Call 1-800-818-3967. This is a limited-time offer that can change fast. Call 1-800-818-3967 or learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. Coming up, we got your brain on drugs. But first, every state has bad drivers. Which one has really bad drivers? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with California. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good hint. Well, quote wizard. I think they're like insurance <laughs> folks. In 2017, they say they saw an increase in moving violations in California more than any other state and more DUI arrests in California mm. than any other state. So, yeah, they're not doing so hot out there. Coming up, we do have uh, our brain on drugs. We'll get to that. Speaking of DUIs, that's on the way. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Each day at this time, we talk about people doing dumb things under the influence, but addiction is no laughing matter. If you or someone you know needs help, there's a toll-free number you can call. 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline. 1-800-438-0380. And this is your Brain on Drugs, Saba Bouli. That's kind of a fun name. Saba Bouli. S-A-B-R-A. Sabra Bouli. B-E-W-L-E-Y. Isn't that cool? Sabra Bouli. It's interesting. It is. Age 27. Was pulled over by police and then danced on the roof of her car and then tried to flee on a child's scooter. Oh, so, yeah. That, that's going to work out well. Police pulled over Bouli for driving on the wrong side of the road. And then she drove off the highway up a hill. 
When police arrived, they found her dancing on the roof of her car. Then she tried to leave the area on a child scooter. They became very, quote, uncooperative with officers when they attempted to detain her and physically resisted officers' arrest. It was determined that she wasn't drunk. She was high on ecstasy. Oh, man. MDMA, whatever that is. Bully was arrested on drug-related DUI charges, also resisting arrest, possession of a controlled substance, trafficking MDMA, possession of a controlled substance with the intent to sell, and destruction of property. So there you go. I didn't even know ecstasy was still a thing. I Uh, haven't heard anything about ecstasy forever. Well, now you have. Was that more of a 70s drug? I don't know. I can't keep up with all the drug stuff. (laughs) I don't know. This has been your Brain on Drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, Star Wars, The Last Jedi pulled in over $210 bucks last weekend. That was their opening weekend, by the way. Made them the number one debut of 2017. And it also is good enough for the fourth biggest opening of all time. Guess what number one was, by the way? What? Because people always wonder, what was the biggest opening of all time? It was Star Wars, The Force Awakens in 2015. Really? Yeah, so that was the biggest movie opening. And I remember when that was coming out, remember how excited people were? I mean, ridiculously excited. Our son was one of them. And then we asked him the other day. I thought he was going to rush right out to see the new Star Wars. He's like, eh. No, nope, no interest in seeing it. I said, you're not going to go and stand in line? He's like, no. I said, why not? He's like, I don't know. I just don't want to go. <laughs> and then that one, The Force Awakens, that's the one that he went to where somebody had a seizure during the movie. And while this person is having a seizure, everybody else in the movie is yelling at them to get out of the theater. How awful was that? So they had to stop the movie in the middle of the movie. And cart somebody out, and everybody's like, oh, way to go, you're ruining my movie. <laughs> yeah, by having a seizure that almost killed me. Sorry. So, what were we talking about again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Big screen, little screen. Brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. This is the time of year to wrap up one year and begin another. For many businesses, that means a new budget is coming soon. Now, if you have some funds left in your current year's budget, we can help you make that go far. When you put words to music, they're nine times more memorable. So let us help create a jingle for your business that you can use for years to come. If you have some funds left in the budget this year, we can help you get it done now. If you want to wait until the new year and the new budget, we can lock in a special rate now and you pay later. Learn more at RadioReallyWorks.com. RadioReallyWorks.com. Now your scoop of the day. Sacramento police are looking for a man who robbed a Salvation Army Santa Claus. That's not nice. That is not nice. How much at would all. you get away with anyway? I mean, if you took the whole kettle, what do you got? Well, yeah, twenty bucks, if even. Now maybe a little more than that. But and they're doing good things for other people. Leave them alone. You're hurting yourself. I mean, if you're in need, go to them for help. Don't go to them to steal the kettle. Right. Doesn't make any sense. Happened in Sacramento. Hey, a Milwaukee construction worker. Did you see this? This was floating around on the news uh, or on the internet. A Milwaukee construction worker was fired for bringing a cooler to a job site that had a KKK sticker on it. Oh. Why would you do that? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Unless, of course, he wanted to get fired. He's like, what can I do to get fired today? (laughs) What if those are his initials? This this might do the trick. What if those are his initials? I don't think that's what it was. My cousin, has her initials are KKK. I know. And why would your aunt have done that (laughs) to the poor girl? All right. A top executive at the Bank of California is accused of using his office as a, quote, sex den, end quote, where he would hook up with junior employees. So now it's in the banking world, too. Bank of California. (laughs) Is it? That's like the second Nothing or third time we've talked Honestly, about California Honestly, I'm just today. getting so tired of these Me too. Saudi stories. Arabia has recently lifted a ban on movie theaters for the first time in 35 years. So now, in Saudi Arabia, you can go to the movies. There was a ban, apparently. Uh, apparently, they didn't want you going to the movies. So now they're saying, eh, it's okay. There's nothing good on anyway. No one's going to go to it. All of a sudden, uh, finally, they get out to the movies. They're like, so this is what we've been missing for 35 years? This is terrible. Can we reinstate that ban? Put the ban back up. (laughs) At least then we couldn't go. It's not like we had to. Researchers in Japan conducted a study in Japan that showed a growing amount of... I'm not even making this up. This sounds like something that you would make up. Uh, Trying to think of the right way to say this, even. We'll just say relations... Between monkeys and deer. What? Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. These monkeys are monkeying around with the deer. It's becoming a new behavioral tradition in the forest in Japan. I think that is hilarious. This is just the weirdest. This is almost like somebody punked me. Did you put fake news in front of me today? No, but here's my question. Okay. Can that result in a pregnancy? I sure hope not. 
Can you imagine how weird that was? <laughs> a deer with or a little monkey running around with antlers? I don't know. I don't think that's. I have no clue. And I, I didn't pay attention that day in biology or any other day, so I'm not sure the answer on that. Hey, a study by the Census Bureau found a growing number of Americans are working past the age of 75. So there's more and more people that are still working at age 75 and beyond. So I don't know. That's kind of sad. That is very sad. I remember it was like nine years ago we were talking to a financial planner that said to me, I remember I thought Heidi was going to stab me with his pen. He said, at what age do you want to retire? And I said, I never want to retire. And the look on your face, it was priceless. Yeah, he asked me when I want to retire. I said, She's tomorrow? Like, I was like, 2 o'clock today, good? <laughs> and uh, I said, I never want to retire. I'd like I'd like a second swing at that, please, because uh, I, I do now want to retire. Now you're ready to retire. Not today. I love what I do here. There's some things I do that I'm like, eh, if I could get rid of some of that stuff. But I like this. But I mean, if this is all we did, this wouldn't be work. <laughs> but I mean, this isn't all we do. I know, but that's what I'm saying. If this was it. So... Anyway, and our final story here. A growing number of New York City parents are skipping the long waits at the mall for photos with Santa, and they're scheduling private photo shoots where Santa comes to you. Guess how much that costs in New York City? I bet it's a lot. In if New you're going to take a swing at the guests, what do you think? For how long? I don't know. It doesn't say how long. Like We'd, if Santa's going to come and hang out for the day. Today is the shortest day of the year, so hurry up before we run out of time. I don't know. $150. No, 500 bucks. Oh. Yeah. For that much, I might go buy a Santa suit and, you know, see if I can go do some photos. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the real Santa. This guy smells like Triscuits. <laughs> but if you think about in New York City how difficult it is to get to the place where Santa yeah, is. It does make sense. And how long you'd have to stand in line because yeah. of all the people. Yeah, that's true. There you go. That's what's going on. Thanks for listening. This has been your Scoop of the Day. John and Heidi. It's the most wonderful time of the year. No more singing, please. I'm trying to get everyone's attention to let them know that we made a list and we checked it twice. Who made the list? Okay, Heidi made a list, but I put it online to make it easy to find some of our favorite ideas for fun gifts. These are my personal favorites. I have several of these items myself. These are a few of our favorite things. Oh my gosh. You can see the entire list at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. And it's time right now for Dear Dear John John Letters. Letters. I got a good one here, and I'm actually excited to hear Heidi's answer on this and to hear my answer and see if we agree. Okay. Because this may very much be a female versus male, like a big difference. Okay. So, and also, folks, remember, you can always send your Dear John letters in, and you can chime in on the Dear John letter for today, all of that on our Facebook page. I just talked to a guy the other day that said, I don't have Facebook, but I'm considering getting it just so I can see all the stuff you guys talk about. I thought everybody had Facebook now. Huh. <laughs> Apparently not. Hey, here's our Dear John letter. Dear John, I'm considering getting my wife a day at the spa for Christmas. I thought this was an awesome idea. My cousin agrees, and he said he may do the same thing. Then today, a lady I work with told me she thinks it's a really bad idea. She says, I'd basically be telling my wife she needs a haircut and a new look. I don't think that's what I'm saying at all. I actually think she would enjoy the pampering, and she definitely deserves a day to relax. What do you think? Will this kind of gift give the wrong message? Question mark. Signed, Confused Husband. Yeah, he is confused because spas don't cut hair. That's a Uh, salon. Well, apparently it's a salon and spa. Okay. I'm I'm thinking, I don't know. So that's two different things? (laughs) Yes. I don't know. Are there some that do both? (laughs) Not usually spas, but a salon can do both. Well, this this must be one that does both because (laughs) either that or he is very confused. First of all, if if I got you a gift that was like a makeover gift where it was uh, you get... You know, new uh, do and you get massages and I would all not events. be offended by you that be, at all. Okay. I think that would be an amazing gift. Well, note to a self. massage and, you know, a facial I and I still a have a few days to get this one done. <laughs> uh, here's my concern. I, I honestly, again, I agree with what Heidi said. I think it sounds like a really nice gift, but you would probably know your wife better than the coworker does. If if she's saying that it's an awful gift, maybe it's you know because... You know Maybe she's got a husband that hounds her all the time and says, you need to change this and you need to do that this. Could and be. that's why she's so... So... If it's given with the right heart, it's a different story. If you're and, giving it to your wife, but you think she's beautiful, that she's not going to take it that way. Yeah. If it's not like, here, go get yourself fixed now. Right. That might be a bad way to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I also get you a gift card for some new clothes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next, we're going to work on some other things. That that would be bad. No, uh, I don't I think, think it's a cool that's idea. bad at all. I think that's a wonderful and, gift. And I don't, and again, it says your cousin was agreeing and was thinking I might do the same thing. Maybe, and I don't know if your wife and your cousin's wife get along. If they do, if you did like a day at the spa together. Yeah, that'd be you fun. You know, if it included the, the, what are the things when they do your fingers? What's that called? A, a manicure. What is the one when they do your feet? The Pedicure. That one, uh, a man. Why would it be a manicure for your fingers? Just so you know, don't get me a pedicure. I don't you know, like people touching Do you want a manicure? Feet. I like manicure. Do you want a woman manicure? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they call it a manicure. Uh, if you if you want to do that, maybe if your wife and your cousin's wife get along, again, would that be cool to do it like a, a weekend well, together? if they, yeah, if they get along, I don't know. Well, if they don't, I'm maybe assuming that would be... Maybe she just wants to relax by herself. That's true. That's true. Uh, how about, I've heard of these they things They could each called... give them the gifts and they can set their appointments whenever they want. So there if they go. want to go together, they can do that. How about uh, this thing I've heard called couples massages? Is that a good thing? I don't know. Would that be the, like he could do that with his wife? Say, hey, we're gonna, I'm going to come in with you. We're going to spend a day at the spa together. <laughs> that would be fine. Which, I wouldn't want to do that with you because one? you would talk all the way through the massage. <laughs> the whole point is to relax. So She's like, can you put a muzzle on that one? <laughs> and we're like, Fur. He shove a sock in his mouth so Fur. he's not talking anymore, please. I'm trying to listen to the soothing music. I've only been in for a massage one time. <laughs> and it was funny because she said, okay, um, I'm going to leave the room. I'm going to come back. Just disrobe to your comfort level. I said, I'm ready. And I was still wearing my winter coat. It's like, you got to take some of that stuff off. (laughs) All right. I hope this helped. Uh, Again, confused husband. Thank you for sending this in. If you ever have a question that you would like us to answer, uh, we'll certainly respond no matter what through our Facebook page. But if there's something that is something that we could all learn from, we'll share it on the radio as well. And that's facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. I also want to encourage you, if you have the opportunity and if you're on Facebook, chime in and give advice uh, anytime you can for these stories because I think it's imperative that you get more than just our perspective. Heidi and I are not going to be right all the time. I mean, again, it's so much as an opinion. But I think everyone listening, your opinion matters too. So there are some people who give great advice every week, Heidi. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. Have you ever followed? And saw? I have. Some of those are awesome. So thank you guys for doing that. And for those of you who do, I appreciate it a bunch. And if you would like to submit a question, again, it's all the same place. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. We're in that special time of year, one of my favorite times when we celebrate with family and friends. But often that celebration involves alcohol, so please have non-alcohol options available. Sadly, too many times that's not an option, and that can lead to drinking and driving, and much worse. If you're having a party, have a plan. And remember, if you or someone you know needs help kicking a drinking problem, there's a toll-free number you can call, 800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Out of the millions of creatures on Earth, humans are only one of three species capable of laughter. The other two are what? Do you know? You know what else can laugh? Hyenas. No, a chimpanzee, or as our son says it, chimpanzee, which he might be right, because we say chimp. We don't say, you know, it's a chimp. So he says it's a chimpanzee. A chimpanzee, yeah. We say chimpanzee. Right. We we stress the pansy, not the chimp. Right. (laughs) Chimpanzees or chimpanzees, they can uh, laugh, and rats can laugh. Although, I've never... Rats can laugh? Yeah, I've never heard one laugh. Apparently, i got to come up with some better rat jokes. Hyenas laugh? No, they don't. They they officially don't. Uh, Millions of creatures on Earth, one of three species capable of laughter, humans, chimps, and rats. All right. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Welsh word for jellyfish is Saigod Wibbly Wobbly. Ah. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot more fun. <laughs> Saigod Wibbly Wobbly. It's a lot more fun than jellyfish. I think we need to switch over to using that. This has been your fun facts on the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. It's the most wonderful time of the year. No more singing, please. I'm trying to get everyone's attention to let them know that we made a list and we checked it twice. Who made the list? Okay, Heidi made a list, but I put it online to make it easy to find some of our favorite ideas for fun gifts. These are my personal favorites. I have several of these items myself. These are a few of our favorite things. Oh my gosh. You can see the entire list at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. 
It's time now for the grandiloquent word of the day, also known as the time Heidi picks up her phone and starts texting somebody. Sorry. What, are you not interested in this all of a sudden? I was replying to someone about Christmas. (laughs) It's very important. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's urgent. (laughs) Very important. All right. You ready for this? I am ready. You need to know this, Heidi. I do. This is a word that you will, you're going to love this one. It's Lalo Chizia. Lalo Chizia. L-A-L-O-C-H-E-Z-I-A. Here's what you're going to like about it. You know what Lalo Chizia means? I honestly couldn't even begin to tell you. <laughs> Emotional relief gained by using indecent or vulgar language. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's going to start using this one. I use she, that a lot. She does all the time. So <laughs> I thought you'd like this one. I, I'm not even going to try to use the sentence here because I'm not, I'm not even going to attempt it. But Lalo Chizia, emotional relief gained by using indecent or vulgar language. Uh, and, and I think it works sometimes. It know? does for me. And then what I've tried to do is change out those words with other words. So, oh, <laughs> fiddlesticks. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't work yeah. as good? No, I, 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 my, my way definitely works uh, so much better. Sure it does. <laughs> Coming up, we got some weird news to get to. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Are you paying a bundle to have the channels you want? And even more, to have a DVR to watch the shows when you want to watch them? ChannelSurferTV.com wants to help. We have a few options that could save you 45% with Dish TV. Call 1-800-818-3967. See how much you can save by cutting the cable. Plus, we can help you watch on your mobile device. Call 1-800-818-3967. This is a limited time offer that can change fast. Call 1-800-818-3967. Or learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. Now some weird news on a Thursday. Travis Volpicellini. <laughs> Volpicelli. I, it's, I doubt he's listening. So some dude named Travis. He's 33. He attempted to shoplift from a Reno, Nevada Walmart during the annual Shop with a Sheriff event. What? Man tried to walk out of Walmart with about $800 worth of stuff. However, he picked the wrong time to do it. The same time that Walmart was hosting their shop with a sheriff event where cops take underprivileged kids on a shopping spree. So the store security stopped this dude. He was also greeted by several officers all at the same time. He's been charged with grand, grand larceny and criminal contempt. And if it was illegal to be an idiot, he'd get charged with that too. Hmm. I mean, first of all, why would you steal stuff in the first place? Bad idea. But why would you do it the same time you have a bunch of sheriffs deputies walking around shopping with kids right i mean could you pick a worse time to do it right that could have been our moment of duh but it has been instead our weird news on a thursday John and Heidi. now your moment of duh and uh this this was kind of a toss-up today this was either going to be a weird news or moment of duh they were like interchangeable so okay we could call this either chris trotter told police after he robbed a milwaukee bank that he didn't think he would get caught because he thought maybe they would let him go till after Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) In the spirit of the holidays. Seriously, he says, I told the teller, I'm robbing you. Give me the money now. And then he pulled out a semi-automatic handgun and rested it on the counter. Deputies happened to be in the area and gave pursuit. He was caught, had about $8,000 on him from the arrest, uh, or from the, the crime, rather. He was arrested. And he said, I believed I could just take the money back to the bank and they would let me go, you know, till maybe after Christmas or something. Yeah, I don't believe that's how it works. That's not how it works, man. You don't do that. You don't rob a place and go, (laughs) "Okay, I'll give you the money back. Just let me go till after the holidays. (laughs) No, no, I don't think so. I'm going to link to this genius on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash John and Heidi show. This is the time of year to wrap up one year and begin another. For many businesses, that means a new budget is coming soon. Now, if you have some funds left in your current year's budget, we can help you make that go far. When you put words to music, they're nine times more memorable. So let us help create a jingle for your business that you can use for years to come. If you have some funds left in the budget this year, we can help you get it done now. If you want to wait until the new year and the new budget, we can lock in a special rate now and you pay later. Learn more at RadioReallyWorks.com. RadioReallyWorks.com. We've got some good news to get to, but one more story here about somebody doing something I just don't understand. A 44-year-old man by the name of Randy Ballstead stole a laptop from a business in La Crosse, Wisconsin. But here's the interesting part. He left his probation paperwork there. And then he called 911 for assistance. Yeah, he called 911, the guy that stole the computer. Hmm. He told dispatchers that he was going to break into the building if officers don't respond to help him get 
money that he accidentally left inside. Police ended up at the location after a report of a stolen laptop. They searched the building. They found condoms and loose change and oh his gosh. probation paperwork in the bathroom trash. Officers found him a short while later walking without shoes for some reason. When questioned about the, the laptop, he said, well, I, I choose death. That was his answer. Okay. They were, he was sentenced to probation in November. Uh, this is going to add one count of burglary and probation violation to his criminal record. So... Just lock him uh, the, up. He's the worthless. answer, I choose death because you got caught stealing a laptop. I don't think that's the penalty. <laughs> okay. You got caught stealing a laptop. I think this one's going to be the electric chair. <laughs> I mean, I think maybe it's a misdemeanor or a felony or something, but death? I don't think so. We've got some good news to get to. That's on the way. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with some good news, and I think this is a cool story. It says here, 92 people were trapped on a quickly sinking bus, and a passerby saw what was happening, and he didn't reveal this until years later. So Heidi sent me this story. Do you know how long ago it was? No. It was been a while. September of 1976. No, I'm, I'm not, not talking about when you sent me the story. Oh, well, every time I send you a story, you hang on to them for like two months no, and then not, you read them. It's not that. I just, I have so many to get to. <laughs> and here's the thing I try to do. When other people send me stuff, I try to put theirs in front of yours. It's not because I like them better than you, oh, Heidi. I see. It's, no, it's because I don't want them to wait. But you have sent me so much stuff. <laughs> I don't want the other people to have to wait. It's like, yeah, next June yeah. I'll get to this. Anyway, right. uh, this dude here, uh, he's an Armenian swimmer, uh, Sharva. Let's just call him Sharva. <laughs> anyway, back in 19... <laughs> I don't know. I probably got that wrong even. Back in 1976, he was doing a 13-mile run with 40 pounds, uh, 45 pounds of sand strapped to his back. I do that same kind of thing all the time. Yeah, you do. But I have like 35 pounds it's, of fat it's strapped fat, to my front. It's up to your front. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was a trolley bus filled with 90 people, and it fell into a reservoir that was 33 feet deep. The bus was sinking to the bottom, and nobody could have expected this guy to do what he did. Yeah, this is a very cool story. He jumped in, and he saved these people. And he didn't make a big deal of it. Look at all these uh, medals that he, they were given to him. Look at all that. There's, yeah, there's a whole insane. neck full of medals. I think it's 92 medals because of all the people that he saved. Anyway, he went down back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. He did this. 40 times took him 20 minutes to get every single person out of there. And there are photos online where you can see this trolley bus that's in the water. Uh, it, it is absolutely amazing. His heroism came at a price, though. He was diagnosed with pneumonia. He had a 104 degree temperature because he was going back into this cold, dirty water over and over and over. What a hero. And it's cool that, again, this happened and it was like, yeah, it's not a big deal. I don't really want to talk about it. So, uh, that's cool. I, I think that's really neat. Thank you for sending that over, Heidi. You're welcome. Uh, and isn't this the one where his wife found it? She was like yeah. going through the attic and found the pictures and yes. then finally asked him about it. They had been married. Since 1981, they've been married. He never even she, told he her about it. He never even mentioned it. Yeah. Not once. And then she finds this stuff and she's like, hey, what, is, like, this? what is this? Did you do this? And he's like, yeah. What? <laughs> it's no big deal. She's like, well, you saved all these people? <laughs> yeah. So what, well, you want to give me a medal? Well, they already did that. I so. think that's awesome. <laughs> I think so too. It's really cool. humble man. Absolutely. You know, that's what I think of myself as the same <laughs> person. I'm just I'm being I'm being sarcastic. I'm not. You know, I wish I was a little more humble. I really do need to be. Uh, and it's not that I think I'm awesome because I don't. But I, I, so many times I say things and I'm like, man, I wish I wouldn't have said any of this now. So <laughs> this is one of those times. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Thursday. Time now for a bonus break on the John and Heidi Show podcast.